Welcome to the Millbrook Railroad. Today we're working with 3D printed welding fixtures. Now I designed these in a previous video and uh, I've changed it a little bit. I designed some new ones. And these are made from high temp resin. And so what we're going to do right now is we're going to set this whole jig up so I can rack up one of these and weld it up and we're going to abuse these until they melt. Now I've already broken some pegs off of these while filing down the, the pegs to make them fit in the table. So, well, we're already starting at maybe a disadvantage, who knows. We'll see how well this fits. Right now it's not fitting too well. Maybe I have to do some more filing. Yeah, I think I have to do some more filing. And let's see, where is it grabbing? So it's rubbing right there. And let's see, it's rubbing there. Looks like this pin is fine. So I've got to clean up some more on this pin. Looks like it's pretty much just here and here. All right, well, let's see what that does. See how well that fits. That fits a lot better, but uh, still got a little bit right there. That I will take care of with the file. Hopefully I don't break this, this time. Okay. Let's see what we got. Ah, that fits quite nicely. Let's see if I got it in the right position. And it appears I have it kind of in the right position, but uh, Kind of a tight fit. And I think these go on this side. Let's see. Guess I should have printed another one of these, but uh, I didn't think about that. So let's see how this uh, all racks up. I might not need something on this side. These really aren't going to do much for me. So let's rack this up and see what we got. First thing I'm noticing is I can't get the straight edge in here. So we'll just line that up like that. And like that. And we'll clamp this end down. And hopefully we don't break anything in the process. camera. All right. I'm going to line this side up. Right, that side's all lined up. Let's clamp that one down. That is all racked up. a lot quicker than the other method I've been using. Very 
good for attack weld anyway. that up so I gotta grind it up anyway put that in the wrong way Pretty good for penetration. You need to flip this the right direction. It's gonna be like this. So it's gonna fit on here just like this. That squares up nice. I'm just gonna clamp it back into the fixture and weld it back up again. Seems like the right thing to do. this between two of us. Is this fixture melting? No. Actually it's doing quite well. I 
Might be a little bit of melting right here. Nope, that's WD-40. All right. Ouch. That's hot. Oh, PSA. Don't, don't ever grab what you've just welded until it cools down first, even if you have a glove on. So there we go. We'll see if that'll cool down nicely in these. I think it's going to, actually. I think this is going to be a good fixture. I just have to build something for this end here, which means I need to print another one of these. And probably not drop it on the floor like I did this one and crack it, but, you know. Even damaged, they're working well. Well, it's better than it was. It's still not perfect, but, uh... Well... Alright, I made a mistake. It wasn't the problem with the fixture. It's a problem with a piece of welding wire right here. And now that I fixed that, it's much, much closer, and it's actually completely within tolerance for uh, for this part. So. Dang it, that's a good part. <laughs> All right, so 3D printed welding fixtures, at least with high temp resin, seem to work. It's not a PLA printer, it's a resin printer that I use. Um, so, the big question is why? Why bother 3D printing some welding fixtures when you can just buy steel angle? Well, these are made to specifically fit this part. Um, so, yeah, I've got the 3D printer, I might as well use it, right? Uh, it's a tool, I'll use, my, the, use the tools I have available. Um, this ain't bad. Um, will it work long term? I don't know, I guess I'll find out. Um, and it only works for the first operation on these anyway. I've got to turn them up uh, vertically for the second operation, and I have a different different setup for that. So I guess we'll call this this a success. But you know, what gave me the idea in the first place? Well, funny you should ask that. I uh, got an email. Uh, commercial email, another spam email. This one I actually looked at the, the title because it said webinar using 3D printing for welding fixtures. So oh, that was interesting. I didn't watch the webinar at all, but I went right home and I printed up, or I, I designed up these uh, uh, fixtures in a Libre Atom 3D and printed them on the on the uh, resin printer. And I'd say it's it's good. At least with the high temp resin anyway. I'm not sure I'd try this with you know, the, the standard 3D printing resin. Because uh, this stuff does tend to get hot. But the uh, high temp resin seems to be tolerating it quite nicely. Well, I expected this to flop terribly, to be honest. Um, I'm actually surprised at how well it's done. Um, clearly, I need to do some adjustments to the to the fixtures, but this kind of proves the concept. Uh, they didn't melt immediately, so hey, I'll take that as a win. I'm going to print up some more of these. I'm going to adjust the sizes and uh, um, make it... Uh, make it so that they won't self-destruct when I try to put them into the welding table and we'll uh, work with that. And, you know, if they if they get me five or six trucks or five or six welding assemblies, um, you know, maybe that's a win. Maybe that's good enough. But I suspect they're going to give me a whole lot more and uh, that's that makes it worth it. So 3D printing, um, 3D printing welding fixtures. I never thought I'd say this, but I see a future here. Thanks for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, hit the thumbs up button. Give us a subscribe. 
Um, join us over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.